Tom Teague is a North Carolina resident who lives just outside of Asheville, North Carolina. He joins us now to discuss what he's been seeing with his own eyes on the ground and hearing from people actually doing the rescue and recovery efforts. And that's why I want to welcome Tom, because I believe real people, real residents, way more than I believe the mainstream media and our lying federal government. Tom, thanks for joining us. Um, Absolutely. Where do I begin? Just tell us what you've been seeing in these small mountain towns that we've heard have been devastated. And what are you seeing and hearing about all these rumors that FEMA showed up days late and FEMA's just in the way? So I went to um, Swannanoa on Sunday to deliver supplies to um, all the residents there and everyone who needed it. And I went with one of my close friends who's a fishing guide here in, in the Asheville area. He had been there uh, from the Monday after the Friday and he was cutting trees and giving aid and running back and forth to Wilmington and picking up supplies and bringing it back. Um, the one thing that was incredible is the outpouring of like um, humanity in this whole thing. Uh, people coming in, um, driving from Pennsylvania, far out places, just bringing any supplies they could get. Um, the other noticeable thing is there was no central command. There was no serious government presence in this place at all. And I talked to some of the residents there who were displaced and they said that the government came in three to four days late. <laughs> That's just completely unacceptable. I mean, people without water can can die in that period of time. Yeah. And this was just in the in the Swannanoa area on the strip. My friend, when he first arrived there, he saw horrific, horrific things. He saw uh, mothers and children tied together to try to prevent themselves from separating during the flood. He saw infants in trees. Um, and he reckons he saw between 100 and 150 people just just washed out in the main part of uh, Swannanoa. Uh, in my area, I live in Cane Creek, uh, just in Garen Creek. Um, I had a friend who was his brother's house was being used to pull bodies out and to uh, to pick up the bodies. And they reckon there was between 60 and 80 people. I spoke to a fire chief in Asheville and uh, or someone high up in the fire department in Asheville who explained to me that he was at a table the other night at a dinner for first responders. And between 12 guys, they had pulled out a total of about 180 bodies. So I think, you know, this is a very, very small sliver of the effort that's going on. And I believe that that we're getting like, you know, massive underreporting of the actual numbers. I mean, there's communities like Burnsville. Um, um, you know, places like Black Mountain, places like um, uh, Old Fort, these areas and a lot of areas that are just completely cut off where the numbers have to be really high. And I had people trying to deliver aid to Burnsville and they were telling me they were just blocking it all off and they were recovering a lot of bodies, which seemed odd to me. 